Hey guys, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to relink missing media in Premiere Pro. So this has happened to the best of us and thankfully it's a pretty easy thing to fix. So let me just walk you through it real quick. First, let's talk about why this might happen in your project. You have to understand how Premiere Pro reads your footage in your files. When you drag your footage over here into your project panel, remember that Premiere Pro is not making a separate copy of your clips. It's simply a directory or a blueprint. It's like a map. So Premiere Pro is saying, okay, here are these files, but they don't live in Premiere Pro. They actually live over here on your hard drive, wherever you are keeping them. So if you change any part of this structure, if you change um, where they're located in, in any of these folders, if you disconnect this hard drive, or even if you rename the file itself or any of these folders, then you've broken the link here. So Premiere Pro is not going to know where that file went. So when that happens, you have to tell Premiere Pro how you changed the file, where you relocated it or how you renamed it. So let me just walk you through exactly what I mean when I explain that. So I've already got just a quick project set up right here. Um, you can see I just threw all the clips down here in the timeline. And let's say that um, we go back over here to where the files are located. Here they are in this footage files folder. So let's say that I just drag them all out in, into this bigger folder. Watch what happens in Premiere Pro. So when we go back in Premiere Pro, you see all of a sudden we have this link media window open up and it's telling us, hey, what happened to all these files that you just moved? Where are they now? So we've got to tell Premiere Pro what we changed. So look down here, let's go over a few of these options. And for the most part, um, you can just keep these default settings as is. If you changed the name of the file, then you need to uncheck file name. If you changed the type of file, for example, if you converted it from a QuickTime MOV file to an MP4, for example, you need to uncheck this option. But if you didn't change the name or extension, you can leave these as is. Leave all these unchecked over here. I like to keep this relink others automatically checked and you'll see why in just a moment. Keep this checked as well. Use media browser to locate files. I'll show you that in just a minute. And then um, you can also keep this checked as well. That's going to preserve any uh, changes that you made to your clips within your project already. So for the most part, like I said, keep all these settings the same. If you have files that you know you're not going to be able to find, if you deleted them, for example, or you don't care about them anymore, um, you can hit offline and Premiere Pro will just skip over them. But for right now, um, let's go through how we can reconnect these files that I just moved. So starting with the first one, let's hit locate. And as you can see, it's taking us to everywhere on my computer, these local drives over here. So what you wanna do is navigate over to the folder where you think your files might be. If you moved them manually like I just did and you know where they are, it's gonna be really easy. All you have to do is double click on the folder right there and see here are my files. So we started with the first one right here, the bike ramp jump. If you forget which file you're looking for, look up here where it says last path. Premiere Pro is telling us, hey, this is where they were last, but now I don't know where they are now. So if you follow this directory and look for the file name that's telling us which one we're trying to connect right now. So I'm looking for bike ramp jump.mp4. Here it is. All I do is click on it and I'm going to hit OK to reconnect. Before I do that, let me show you another way you can view this window right here. If you want to see your clips as the actual visual, you can do that too by hitting that little thumbnail right there. And that will allow you to kind of hover over and see a thumbnail view of the clips. So I'm clicking on that one. I'm going to hit OK. And when I do that, this is the cool thing that I was telling you about that Premiere Pro is smart about. Because all of those clips were moved at one time, they're in the same relative location. So Premiere Pro can find all of them at one time. So if you happen to move an entire folder of footage or rename a whole folder of footage or move an entire project, for example, to another hard drive, um, Premiere Pro doesn't make you go in 
and reconnect each and every single clip. You can do them all at one time if they're all in the same relative location. Now, if you change them to several different folders and rename everything and change everything all around, then that's not going to work. But um, like I said, if you're moving an entire folder from one location to another, then this is a pretty easy thing to fix. So I'm going to go back and show you what happens if I rename this first clip. So I'm just going to change it to um, example one. And then let's go back in Premiere Pro and see what happens. Okay, so see it says now it's confused what happened to this file. And like I said, we renamed it. So what I want to do is uncheck that file name and I'm going to go to locate. And this time, remember, we're looking for this one, but we renamed it. And I know that I named it example one. So here it is. I'm going to click that footage file and hit OK. And now you can see that there it is. It's reconnected. One more thing. Let me show you guys. I'm going to move everything back in just to give us one more example. Move it back into this footage files folder here. We go back in. Again, everything is disconnected, so we've got to reconnect again. And what I wanted to show you, I'm going to recheck that file name option. When I hit locate, another quick thing that might save you some time if you have a ton of files in your footage or if your files are named by numbers and they're kind of hard to spot very quickly, you can click this option that says display only exact name matches and that's going to narrow this down and help you find exactly which one you're looking for. And again, this only works if you haven't changed the name. So if you know you haven't changed the name, then that can definitely save you a lot of time and narrow down a large number Number of clips and then I hit OK and now as you can see um, my project is restored and the great thing is that if you've already made a lot of edits in your project everything is going to be relinked but nothing changes to your edit so great fix and pretty easy to do thank you guys so much for watching this video if you have any further questions or want to learn about anything else in Premiere Pro definitely leave that in the comment box for me below thanks for watching